guys. So we do uh, vertical takeoff, vertical landing rocket vehicles. Uh, the one on the left we call Zombie, the one on the right Zoe. Future ones are uh, Foxy, Zogdor, Zorg, ZoMG. I made that one up yesterday, but I'm going to run with it. Um, yeah, the next one is Zogdor, Zogdor the Burnator. They're uh, liquid oxygen, isopropyl alcohol. Uh, there's me down in the bottom with someone's head. Uh, liquid, yeah, liquid oxygen, isopropyl alcohol, single engine gimbal for control. They fly themselves completely autonomously. It has a really high quality GPS and an inertial measurement unit. Uh, they're just robots, uh, and they're great. So, one, plan to fail. Uh, everyone in the history of time has planned to win. Like everyone who's ever played a game, they always plan to win. It only works half the time. If you plan to fail, when you fail, it's not a big surprise. When you win, it's fantastic. Uh, we had a really short timeline last year. Uh, I mean, we started, you know, in uh, what, March, uh, giving up on a four-engine vehicle. This one, and moved to the you know first flight, and then won both levels of the LLC last summer. So we won 1.15 million dollars from NASA, which is fantastic. We love competition. Uh, so part of that, you know, plan to fail. You make it robust. You make it 2.0. You uh, you don't bring every bit of mechanical advantage out of it, so that when something breaks, it doesn't crash the rocket. In our first competition, you can't really see it here, but this is kind of green. That means that the copper chamber is melting and being blown out the back of the rocket engine. And this is about 20 seconds into a 90 second flight, and we let it continue the flight because it has enough margin that it just bulges the insides of the chamber, and this is looking inside the rocket engine, melts some stuff off, dumps some fuel, makes it run fuel rich, still managed to have enough margin to do the entire flight, land safely. We saved it, we said, okay, we're probably not going to do the other flight today, but, you know, we still have a vehicle. So, same thing with the Zoe Box tanks. <laughs> to go to 1,200 PSI, they burst at 900 PSI like a month before the competition, but we're able to turn stuff around fast enough to redesign it and actually build a box tank. So, number two, fail to be normal. Uh, we don't just let people know when we have successes, we let people know when we screw stuff up too, because other people, like Armadillo Airspace, they let us know, uh, they're hugely helpful, x -Core, they also help us out, so we let people follow along. So, uh, before the level two competition, I bet one of the other guys 20 bucks that the rock would either crash or burst into flames, and I won! <laughs> uh, that was a stupid bet. But uh, because we'd had a bunch of people that were involved uh, overnight, they, I mean, like, we were exhausted, we went home. So people who had never touched the rocket before, we gave them the prints, we said, go crazy. They rewired the entire rocket, uh, and we flew it again the next day and won a million dollars. So it was like, it's, you know, no one else, you know, just lets me. Uh, so this is the IPA tank here in the back. That's John, our propulsion guy. That's a Rubbermaid trash can lid that was catching the fuel that was leaking out of the tank and diverting it down a leg, which is what that fire was from. So a trash can lid won us a million bucks. And a molecular biologist came up with that, one of the guys. Uh, so it worked really well. Uh, failed to be original. The th major aspect of new space, the thing that makes us unique, is that we actually learn from previous programs. Unlike some of the larger programs, we don't decide to re-engineer everything ourselves every time. So we buy off the shelf as much as possible. The uh, gearbox on our throttle valves is out of an ice crusher. It's completely off the shelf. It's heavier than it should be, but they never ever die. They're super reliable. One more spark plug. Uh, we get a lot of comments on like YouTube when I put up videos. Congratulations, you invented the moon lander. They did that in 1960. It's like, yeah, we did it. We did this vehicle for you know $500,000 in the full development of the entire company. So uh, we think it's pretty awesome. Fail early, fail often. <laughs> you know, if your if your assumptions were true, we would call them facts, not assumptions. <laughs> so you know, we test. Forget the assumptions, test. So we, like we had landing gear on Zoe, uh, we started out with the ends glued in, we ended up just going with what we knew, going higher, heavier factor of safety, screwing threads in, made the gear uh, for the whole vehicle weigh about three pounds more, uh, but we haven't had any problems since then. Uh, th this is one example where we didn't learn to fail early, we spent like a year trying to get this thing to work, and we finally managed to burn through one of the engines. It was one of the best days in the company history. Uh, so we burned through the engine, and then a month later, we managed to fly the vehicle for the first time on a single engine. Um, so this is my last slide. There's me. Uh, I was throwing a bit of Kiva. Uh, it's a microfinance site, loan 25 bucks to somebody in a third world country. We have a new space team, 9 member 77 loans, and we're beating all of those people. So join the team and help us kick their ass. <laughs>